You should all be familiar with the emergency shaky torch. But how does this work? Well, we can see that there is a magnet, coils, a switch, an LED, and some other electronics. This is similar to our induction tube. Here we have a magnet, a coil, and an analog voltmeter. Using this, we can investigate the properties of a linear generator. Now, as well as this, there are other coils with LEDs attached to them. These will allow us to investigate the flow of electricity. If we look at this LED here, it is a bipolar one, which will go red or green depending on the flow of current. This combination is a pair of LEDs which are in reverse polarity to each other. And here we have a single LED. So by analysing the LEDs, we can understand the flow of electricity. Now, as well as that, we can compare what we see on the LEDs back to our meter readings. If you have a data logger, you can also connect the data logger to help you investigate the properties of the linear generator in more detail. So what else makes the shaky torch work? Well, we can see that it's got a switch and an LED. So here you have a switch and LED mounted on a board. Now we also need to convert the AC into DC. Here's a device for that, a rectifier. And finally, you need a way of storing the electric energy. Thank you.